Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Mari Meko or a Meko chart. Now, Jonathan Drummy laid the steps out in his article how to create a Mari Meko chart in Tableau. And I'll put that information at the bottom of this video. He did all the hard work. I'm just showing you how to do it and kind of walking you through it because it can be a little bit complicated. There's a lot of complex steps that he uses. First of all, we're going to start off using some global superstore data. We have a market and a category. I'm going to bring the sales over here. I thought. Okay, there's the sales. And what we want to do is we want to know the percent of each of these categories by market. So we're going to change this, come down to add quick table calculation percent of total, and we're going to need to change this so that it's a percent, come down to compute using market. Oh, that was wrong. Compute using, where is it? Using category. And so now these get you 100% for each of the markets. Now the other thing I'm going to do real quick is add Measure values, double click that. And now we've got sales as well, which is what we wanted. Now, in order to get the size of the cat, the market, we need to create a, a level of detail field. And we're gonna call this um, market size or column size. This is a quick um, fixed expression. Based on market, we're just going to sum sales. And if you're not familiar with this function, what it is telling you is saying, regardless of any, I thought that was right. Okay. Regardless of any other uh, dimensions that are on the visual, give me total up the sales, sum of the sales at just the market level. Okay, so we're gonna bring that over and you're gonna see for each category the same value, which is what the fixed function does because each of those have the same market. Those add up to that market. Now what we need is we need the uh, running total so that we know where to place the bars on the x-axis, where to place each market. And this is a little complicated formula. We're gonna say market x-axis position. That won't really work if you're making a visual, but for our purposes, it'll give you a good idea of what to do. So we start off by saying, is that big enough? If the first record, is zero. So if it's the first record, then we want it to be the market size. Okay. Else, if the uh, if the market is not equal to the previous value, look up, go up one, go to the previous one, then this is where you get your running total. You're going to take the previous value plus the market size. And if if there isn't any change, you're just going to get the if there isn't any change in the market, we're just going to take the previous value. And he lays this out and walks you through this formula. And he actually has a pretty good Jonathan has a pretty good example of if you have multiple dimensions that you're looking at. Now I'm going to get a bunch of squiggly lines because it does not like, it says there's aggregate and constant and they can't be together. You can't have aggregate and non-aggregate. Well, the way to fool Tableau is to put min or max in front of the uh, non-aggregate values. By putting that in front of the non-aggregate values, 
because you've got these lookup functions and these previous values, those are aggregates. You need to look at all the data. And so by adding min, we trick Tableau into thinking that these other row values are actually aggregate values. Because if you have a value on a row, or you just have one value, the min or the max of that value is that value. Show you how that works. We'll bring that over under. Now you can see if it's the first market, you just pull over the market size. Actually, let me pull this open so you can actually see it as I'm walking through it. If it's the first market, just pull over the market value. If the market value which is the APAC, is not equal to the previous market, which was Africa, then you're going to take the previous value, 783, and add it to the market size, 3.5 million. And that's how you get that value. And that stays if, it, if it's the same, if APAC, APAC, you keep the previous value going, pulling that. So you get here. And then Canada is not equal to the APAC. So you're going to take the previous value, the 4.3 million plus the 66,000 to get your new value. That's how that formula works. Jonathan recommends laying this out here to make sure your numbers all work. And I think it's, it's been very helpful for me to do that. Now we're going to duplicate it. We're going to just call this the chart. Now what we're going to do is we're first going to move the measure values to details. We're going to get rid of the measure names. Then we're going to move the categories to details and market to details. And he says that that specific order, starting from right to left, moving it to details is important. And it probably is. I usually stumble through and have to mess around with the table calculations anyway. So. First thing, we're, now we're going to bring over the, the percentage of sales. And you're going to get a really high percent, way over 100%, and that's, that's normal. Now what you're going to do is you're going to bring over the x-axis, or whatever formula, or whatever field you called the, the running total. I'm going to bring that over. And it starts, it goes to circles, that's fine. That's the default for, you know, two dimensions. I mean, two measures on a chart. You're going to go to change it to bar. Now, you've got all these different bars. Okay, and what you're looking for is you want to make sure that each of these bars is the same for a particular um, country. And I'm actually a little surprised. Come over here. The first country was Africa not Canada. So let's come under here. Because what you want, what should happen is this should be um, Africa, APAC, Canada, and the distance apart is going to be driven by their market size. So let's see, I don't think Africa is right there. Let's see here, let's come under compute using, let's see here. Just give us Africa, yeah, APAC, and I think Canada's in there somewhere. Yeah, there you can see Canada. They're just really close on top of each other. You can see that sales for Canada is only 26,000, so it doesn't really show. Now we've got the market size, and we're going to pull that under, put that under size. The bars look good. Now you left click on size. And apparently this is new in Tableau 10. You're going to select fixed. And then you're going to select right. And that is going to give you the chart. It's saying, okay, we're going to move from the right to the left. If you, You'd have to change the x-axis formula if you wanted to go from left to right. So here's Africa, APAC. Canada's right in there, EME, EU. Now, one thing that I have seen that's been important in some of the times I've done this with different data sets is making sure that this is an attribute 
if this runs into problems you might try that converting this to an attribute and then we're going to move the category to color and there is your meco chart